hello friends this is rehan again and uh, in this tutorial we are going to see the site controls in live frame in the last tutorials we have, in the last tutorial we have seen the full layout of the live frame okay so if we go to our page in this tutorial we are going to see about this site controls in live frame okay the site controls so i know i i think i hope you have guessed what are what is site control in live frame now so this is the site control in live frame which i have told in the last tutorial hope you remember it okay so now we will go through one by one option okay uh, first is add option if you press add option you can see there are three tabs are here one is content next is applications next is page okay first we will we will see the applications uh, applications as i said in i google these are small small applications which are portlets okay similar way in a uh, uh, similar way in life ray it provides a 60 plus out of box portlets so then those portlets can be added and uh, added and we can uh, add the content from there so these are so so under application you can find variety of categories of application actually these categories are given in this 6.2 version only which is in the, which is the latest one um, it is actually an advanced only because see, everything is categorized if you want a collaboration related portlet collaboration related applications you can find the blogs portlet uh, blogs aggregator calendar uh, all these portlet you can find you can just uh, uh, you, you can just uh, add it like this or you can just uh, drag and drop like this as you can see calendar portlet is added since I have uh, the layout is not proper you can just drag and drop here you can see the calendar application is now added and now this dynamic data list application is also added uh, you can just drag and drop and we can replace uh, in any point of layout okay so this is uh, adding applications control we had added applications now we are going to add a page okay so the new pages let it be contact us okay so as you can see if you are type here the new page has been created in the navigation bar okay you can choose a layout so this is a default layout as you can see there this is a default layout for home page this is the same layout or if you want to create some other layout you can just uh, uh, you can just select the predefined layout which are here which are given here if, uh, now I'm going to give 50 50 layout to column okay and give it as add page okay a contact as page has been added you go to contact as page you can see uh, now if you uh, now if you add the portlet and see the way you can see the layout see it's 50 by 50 see 50 50 it has occupied okay so we have added a page now if you want a child page under a contact us okay so how you will do it is you will uh, go to my sites pages but just to tell you because I know uh, some will get curious of adding how you will add a child page under uh, contact us okay so that navigation menu will work now so you just like this contact us now I'm going to add a child page to this contact us okay so select this contact us give add child page contact CEO Rehan contact CEO okay and this is actually it's going to contact the CEO of this page you can select the any layout I'm going to choose this layer one column layout add page now if you can see this contact CEO is a child of contact us now if you want to go back to the home page press this button here now if you can see uh, now this contact page has a contact CEO page go to contact CEO page you can see this so this is how we can add a child page okay 
uh, i will discuss a lot more about child lip page and in, in the few upcoming tutorials okay so this is how you will add a page okay suppose you want a page okay suppose if you want a page uh, to add a page but it should not visible in a, in this uh, navigation bar okay suppose if we are going to create a, a page like uh, my sample page okay okay now we are going to select the layout now if you want to hide it from the navigation menu you will just give it this hide from navigation menu and give add page now if, if you can see that page is actually is created but it is hidden from uh, but it is here but it is hidden from the navigation now how you need to go to the uh, how you will find that page okay so how you will need to do is you need to go to admin pages in public pages if you can see it is under the contact us page okay so since i have selected the contact page and add a page there and it, it is hidden under it hence it it is come like this so if you go back here and if you see it's it's actually hidden from navigation but hence you can't see here but if you if you see here in the structure but it is actually under the contact us page it can be also outside also under the public pages also not an issue okay okay so this my sample page is outside but it is hidden from navigation i just want to show how it's working okay so the next thing what we are going to see is uh, uh, content adding a content okay suppose if you want to add an image or anything okay we, we you need to add a content okay so like uh, these are the following contents which you can add okay suppose if you want to add a blog entry now uh, like if you just give blo new blogs add blog entry this will open a default uh, form hope you remember in blogger in wordpress and all and uh, then this uh, this default blog blog entry will be there where we will enter the uh, enter our blog data and it will be and it will be posted into our blog so you can also create a blog here as i told in the first place similar to wordpress we can we can use liferate to build a wordpress site also okay. so like you can just uh, enter some blog uh, suppose i am going to create my my first blog okay now i am going to create a blog here so it should display date should be uh, let it be okay uh, okay let it be the default date okay now i'm going to write something here hi this is my sample block for content hope you guys like my tutorial subscribe to my channel and hit that like button thanks for your support so this is the blog which i'm going to create this is how you will support support people to create tutorials really for you okay now i have created a sample blog that's going to give an information how to motivate how to motivate youtubers to create awesome tutorials i'm sorry i'm just uh, trying not to be bored okay i'm just adding a blog content here okay so subscribe to their channel and hit that like button this is how you will motivate the people okay answer okay so you can also set the other settings which you will it as you can either save as draft or, or preview it before you publish it so it will preview like this if you want to publish it you can just publish so the content is now published now if, if you want to um, publish that content add a, now we have added a blog entry okay so you need to um, bring out a blog portlet 
okay inside this block portlet only we can add that see uh, so actually it will show all the blocks which we have entered we can also configure this uh, portlet uh, uh, like which block should be displayed which I will tell in the upcoming tutorial see I have created that first block which is displayed here okay so that's all this is how you will add a content okay so uh, so this is what the first add operation useful for and the second one is preview uh, preview setting preview quick settings in the site controls this is actually used to see the page you know how it will look in different devices okay so as I already told you the advantage of life ray is it is very responsive see then the theme which is uh, the default theme which is provided by life ray itself is very responsive you can see here see everything is uh, everything uh, has been changed according to the mobile devices so you can uh, so this uh, this control uh, so this control is actually used to preview the site in various devices you can also preview the device in tablet how it will look you can go to the home page if you want welcome is the home page see you can see how the page will look in the uh, in the tablet if you want to select desktop it will come back to the normal thing. okay so so basically that uh, that preview is used to this preview option is used to see the web uh, this library our library website how it will look in different websites okay and the, and the next control is edit control before we go into this edit control I would like to tell uh, this about this uh, hide uh, this I option okay if you give this uh, hide options then all the it's like it's like locking the customization of the blocks okay so if you have pressed this one see all the this one customizing the portlet uh, and customizing the blog all the options will get hidden see okay so for that purpose only it's used okay suppose uh, if you want uh, another content builder not to edit your uh, uh, not to edit the blogs or not to any edit anything you can go and set for, for that user not to to hide all the controls which I will tell in the workflow part okay so this is how you will hide, hide the controls now the last is a quick setting in the site control is the edit setting so like add setting is used to add uh, add content page and applications to the present page so this edit button is used to edit the current page okay so these are the things which we can edit for the page okay you can just name the change this name of this contact CEO page uh, like uh, contact CEO Rihan you can give like that uh, if you give like that uh, then, then it will if you give save so it will get saved to contact CEO Rihan okay uh, if we want to change this uh, our friendly URL you can give contact CEO Rehan so that it will be very easy for us uh, to remember you can give anything also see this also will get changed so basically you can change the current page properties by using this edit uh, control okay you can also change the layout type which uh, layout type okay you can also uh, set uh, SEO search engine optimization like uh, so what are the tags can be used uh, for, through which the user can search and come as you know uh, WordPress are advantages like uh, it is searchable by Google by, okay similarly uh, similarly like that same thing can be done in life ray also now, even Google support uh, this is search option search engine optimization here that is SEO okay so you, you can also change the look and feel of the uh, web page okay now uh, here here you can also add a JavaScript uh, for example actually I like JavaScript so we will add something like uh, alert uh, welcome to contact CEO Rehan page okay so we are going to give that and give save so each time when we are going to refresh it a pop-up will gonna come and it's gonna let uh, like welcome to contact see your Rehan page so whenever you go to this contact see your Rehan page it will get it's gonna come similarly you can uh, add the JavaScript to all the pages also see how it's very easy without doing any coding HTML coding head uh, uh, script tag without doing anything you can just add a JavaScript very easily 
okay custom fields we will see in the upcoming tutorials so this advanced mobile roles everything i will tell in the separately there is there is a page customization which is very important uh, which i will tell you in the upcoming tutorials so that's all about the site customization uh, the site controls options uh, hope you guys like this tutorial subscribe and like this video thank you for all your support uh, do subscribe for more updated life raid videos uh, see you in the next tutorial thank you bye bye